in this tutorial we will learn what is bend setting and how to control or modify the bend setting bend setting available in few tools and uh, if you want to create a flange always you will get bend setting even if you see there is a bend setting even if you create any flange you will need a bend setting so let's learn how to modify this bend setting in autodesk inventor so let's create first one flange i'll create a flange first you have to choose one edge so i'm going to choose this edge look <coughs> here you have to define the angle of, of this bend so 90 degree distance let's say 10 millimeter okay now here position we will keep inside this face and edge will be in one plane and angle also out, outside means both outer faces sh sharpness will come meet in one point now let's expand this width offset now look now let's say width i'll keep 20 and here this distance i'll keep 3 and choose select this offset point and i'll choose this point now see it is going to define you if you see from this point see it is this face is just in one plane with this edge now if i am going to say yes you will see one relief cut in both side see so this is the bend and which is we are going to control now right click or simply click on the bend and you will see this symbol edit flange now everything is okay you will come here and you will find here bend option now this is what we are going to control so if you see the shape drop down the menu and here you will see three types of shape let's say straight <coughs> now if you move your cursor near to relief width a you will see this picture this width see here let's you can simply put dimension or just click and you will there are multiple lists you can apply like gap size thickness or minimum remnant i'll tell you what is this simply i'll put one thing like the two millimeter now here the depth depth means this b how much you want to say one millimeter and the remnant minimum remnant this material thickness should be equal to or less than if uh, more than this one otherwise this will be trimmed let's say this one this one two millimeter if i put this one one millimeter say okay look it's trimmed again click edit bend if i am going to here and put 0.9 say okay look right click measure if i am going to choose this one see this is two millimeter what we choose reset i'll choose this one one millimeter reset and this should be one millimeter because the, our re minimum remnant value is 0 0.9 if it will be one millimeter it will be delete or trim this edit flange corner look if i am going to put one say okay see it's trimmed so that's why minimum remnant value always more than the thickness of this side edit flange bend now here comes the next let's say round now with the help of this diagram you can see how to control this feature it is also similar to a straight slot there is a radius now this is the width a depth one any minimum remnant 0 0.9 <coughs> or less than one that's it say okay look it's 2 millimeter if right click major if i am going to choose this radius and uh, you will see 1 mm radius one mm the width 
and if you see this is also 1 mm again edit feature the last one option is tier if i go when click tier in tier you can control only remnant tiers we can't control relief a or relief b only we can control minimum remnant minimum remnant let's say this is going to be 3 mm so if we put 3 mm say okay it's trimmed edit feature if we are going to put more less than 3 let's say 2.9 look this is how the bending apply see but for bending any sheet you must need relief angle or bend setting or corner relief edit feature bend relief so in most of the cases people going to use this straight because this is the most used tool available while making this kind of bend okay this is 1 mm this is and this is 0.9 see and it is applied in both side in next lecture i'll discuss about what is bend transition you don't need to always change bend setting while using any features even though you can directly set your bend from sheet metal defaults now here see this is our unit millimeter now here this click edit sheet metal rule now once you click you will forward to this default millimeter now comes to bend now from here you can add adjust the thickness let's say i'll keep uh, this thickness uh, 2 mm now this one 1 mm and remnant value let's say 0.9 see save and close if we apply any new flange here let's say width center now if you move cursor here you will see by default we set relief to depth 1 mm and minimum remnant 0.9 this is the r value what we defined in default section i hope you like it don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks and autodesk inventor thanks for watching